Well, not content with competing against the world's best athletes, and Auss Aussie Olympian is taking on a new challenge. Ed Fernan is preparing to retrace the 1,100-kilometre journey of Archer, the first horse to win the Melbourne Cup. This is about a man and a horse, a remarkable man, a remarkable horse. Ed Fernan is about to saddle up for the adventure of a lifetime. It's going to be pretty rugged terrain, can snow at any time of year. So there's a, there's a few issues there and I'm sure we'll experience a few challenges as well. The 24-year-old has just returned from the London Olympics after competing in the modern pentathlon. He's now about to follow the Melbourne Cup legend of Archer. The legend has it that because transportation was unavailable, Archer had to walk all the way from the New South Wales south coast to Melbourne to win the inaugural cup in 1861. The whole folklore and the whole kind of legend has really created uh, you know, a bit of a memory and definitely etched in Australian history. While the legend has long been disproved, Ed is determined to tackle the trek, raising funds for the Black Dog Institute so it can continue its work helping depression sufferers. His mother survived the debilitating illness. She'll join him for part of the ride. I just wish him all the best. I'm, yeah, I'm very proud of him. They'll set off from Archer's grave site at Braidwood in the Southern Highlands on October 1, arriving in Melbourne five weeks later. If we can make a difference just to one person, then it'll be worthwhile. Simon Boder, Nine News. Sporters X with Tim Gilbert. Terrific story, wasn't it, Tim? Great story, Cam, the Sport of Kings.